Okay, let's do our warm-ups and just a nice gentle class today. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, spread them out. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Get your core active, so ribs towards your spine and up. And just feel that support on your low back. Reach up through the crane. Shoulders back and down. Just relax your arms. Take a moment, focusing inward. Get that yoga perspective. And breathe. And then inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level. Stretch the fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front, keep your shoulders down. And then clasp your hands behind you. Just gently press them to the floor and lift your heart. Stretch your head back, feel that spine lengthen, but remember, don't lift your chin too high, no crunching that neck. And then inhale and exhale on over. Hands up toward the ceiling, bring your head down, move your head around to release that neck even more. And then with your knees slightly bent, start at the bottom of your spine, wind your way back all the way up, into the back bend once more. So heart is high, stretch your head back, feel the chest open, and don't forget to keep breathing. Spread your toes, no gripping. Inhale upright, release your arms, and take a moment feeling your body in a mountain pose. And we'll do it again. Arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, shoulders down, Clasp your hands behind you the opposite way, so shift the fingers in one position, lifting your heart in the back bend, and then pivoting over as you exhale. Again, deepen as much as you'd like. Personal practice always, letting that back get a good stretch. Bend your knees slightly before you work your way back to the top. And again, lift it, lift your heart, and stretch your head back. Take a moment to breathe as you stretch. Inhale upright, release your arms. And again, just notice your spine, your body a little bit more energized. Take a moment to stretch your crown toward the ceiling. Bring both arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders, and then clasp them. Bring your arms back next to your ears, shoulders down, sitting bones down. And stretch your head up. And then we'll lean over, no twist to the side, so your ribs are stretching apart. And then push the foot you're leaning away from even further down to accentuate that. Take a moment feeling that spine moving sideways. And then inhale back up, switch the other hand to the front. And again, pull your arms by your ears, sitting bones down, praying high. And lean no twist over to the other side. So make sure you feel those ribs stretch as you push your foot down and your hands away. And then inhale upright, exhale, and release. Take a moment as you're in that position, feeling that circulation through the sides and open ribs. And then really stretch the spine apart for our twist. Arms out. Palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders again, and then clasping your elbows, pull your arms next to your ears. Stretch the spine, exhale and twist. Take a breath, and exhale over. Stay in the twist, keep the weight on both feet, and just deepen as far as you'd like into that position. Take a moment. Relax in, stay on both feet evenly, work your way back up in the twist. And again, upper body back bend, especially when you're twisting. Elbows back, shoulders down, chest up. Take a moment, feel that opening through the heart. Inhale up, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. Keep the shoulders pulled down, sitting bones down and crown high as you turn to the other side. Another breath, exhale, and keep that weight on both feet as much as you can, as evenly as you can. And don't forget to lift your sitting bones. 
And then inhaling, keep in the twist on both feet as you come all the way up into the upper body back. Shoulders are down, elbows are back. Remember, make sure you're not overworking that low back while you're twisting. Inhale up, exhale around to the center, arms extended, and sinking evenly into your feet. So feel that extended mountain pose, lengthening, grounding both feet evenly, spreading your toes. Take a moment and breathe. And then swan dive forward, arms just at shoulder level, palms toward the floor, pivot at your hips, stretch it out straight as you get parallel to the floor, and then just take a moment, breathing. Pull in deeper, really stretch the back of your leg with the hands behind it, calves if you'd like. And then arms to the center, and one more roll up, coming all the way into mountain pose. Stretch out through the crown. Keep that spine nice and open, spreading your toes always. And let's just windmill a little more for that spine activity, moving from one side to the other. So your whole body turns, hips, ribs, shoulders, everything turns as you look toward one side and then toward the other. And just keep pace with your hands as they go from one side back to the other. And with the spine a little more activated, pull your shoulders back and down, bring the arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, shoulder blades, sitting bones down. We're going into our chair squat. So knees toward your toes, push those sitting bones way back, keep your arms by your ears, keep your spine straight as you squat down as deeply as you'd like to go. So you can go as far as parallel to the floor with those thigh bones, with the hips going way back, and making sure your toes are visible. So you don't want those knees going beyond your toes. And then lead with your fingers and come back up, palms out at shoulder level, and another twist. So sitting bones and crown away from each other. Turn one hand to the front, the other one to the back, and looking to the side. Hips ribs, shoulders turning, and then back to the center. And keep those arms right across from each other and go to the opposite side. And again, rotate back to the center. Shoulders are down still, palms toward the ceiling. Look overhead and bring your hands together. How about a back bend, pulling those thumbs behind you as you look up. But remember, don't lift your chin too high. And then exhale, follow your hands to your heart, pivot on over, drop into right dog. Slide your hands up under your knees, get that halfway up stretch. Elbows, knees, spine straight. And then exhale, all the way down. Knees slightly bent, shoulders just gently forward, and again, just from the bottom of the spine, wind your way back into mountain pose. As you get back into mountain pose, just once more, scan your body, notice how it's working today. Spread your toes on your favorite balance foot. Yeah, we should do some balance. So go ahead and make sure those toes are going straight ahead, your knee toward your second toe. If those toes are out to the side, turn the whole leg so that your foot is facing the front. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up. Activate your core, keep the ribs in and up. Shoulders back and down. And sink into that foot on the base of the toes, follow the foot area as well as the heel. Reach up through the crown and bring the other foot up. Remember, if it crosses over, roll that thigh in so that your foot is coming straight up. When you get your balance, circle your ankle both ways. You want to keep it flexible. Work it out. Flex and point, straightening the foot out and bring it back down into mountain pose. Shift what worked, improve the rest. So again, toes straight ahead, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, core active, shoulders relaxing. Bring the other foot up as far as you want. You can keep it close to the floor. You can bring it towards your heart. 
And again, when you're stable, work your ankle. Both ways, keep that ankle flexible. And then straightening it out, bring it back to the mat. Take a moment, exhale, and relax. And then bending your knees again just slightly, sink into your balance foot and bring the other foot up. This time, cross the ankle above the knee and bring the knee out to the side. So a little figure four with your head. And just as deep into that squat balance as you'd like. Again, take a moment, breathing. Feeling the stability or not. And then bring the foot back into normal position and back into mountain pose. Take a moment, feeling the stability, feeling the core activated, feeling your spine working, spreading your toes, getting ready to, yeah, do our balance on the other side. So again, slight bend to the knees, not beyond your toes ever. And find your stability on that foot, bringing the other one up. And again, crossing the ankle above the knee. Take a moment there as you exhale in the squat, just gently feeling the stability of your balance as much as you can. Take a breath. And again, straightening it out, put your foot back down. Take a moment to breathe, feeling that stability of both feet on the floor. And then bring your hands behind you and either clasp across your lower back or fingertips up between your shoulder blades for a little bit more shoulder work. And we'll do a little hip circle. So again, bending your knees slightly, weight on both feet evenly. Just bring those hips in a big circle. Get the lower back working a little bit more. Legs, knees, ankles, everything in the lower body. Just working, shoulders stay even as you do that. And then stop and circle the other way. Always we balance the body, remember, in yoga. So you want to do things evenly on both sides so you don't habitually work one side more than the other. And again, when you're ready to release, come back into your mountain pose and take a moment, feel what's going on through that midsection of your body. And again, hands to your heart. Inhale, palms toward the ceiling. Looking at your thumbs into the back bend, lift your chest and stretch. Keep your chin down, stretch the back of your neck, spread your toes. And again, swan dive forward, pivoting at your hips, arms out at shoulder level, parallel to the floor. One more twist, so stretch the spine apart and keep the arms across from each other as you rotate, hips, ribs, shoulder to look toward the moose. Take a moment to breathe and then rotating back to the center. Exhale again, rotate toward the opposite side. The hip is coming up slightly, the ribs, the shoulder, everything turning toward that opposite side. And again, exhaling back parallel to the floor. Stretch it out. Breathe in and collapse into ragdoll. Take a moment there, just lifting your hips and sitting bones. Slide your hands up under your knees, coming into your halfway up stretch. And then bend your knees, coming all the way to our child pose. Transition to the core. Hips to your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down. Take a moment, just breathe in. And allow everything to relax. Inhale, coming up, slide off your heels and bring your legs up to the front. Take a moment, pressing out through the bottoms of your heels, pull the toes back, and have those sitting bones behind you so that your hips and shoulders line up and your core is active, supporting your low back, crown going toward the ceiling. Relax the shoulders, bring your arms to your sides, palms out, 
and up and right over your shoulders. Stretch it up. Keep the shoulders though down. Exhale, hands to your shoulders. From the sitting bones out through the crown, reach your hands up toward the ceiling. Stretch it open. Exhale, hands back down to your shoulders. And again, we're going to stretch the whole spine apart. Stretch those fingertips toward the ceiling. And this time, lead with your chest and reach toward your toes. Arms next to your ears as you pivot at your hips into that forward position. Reach the hands toward your toes. Keep your arms by your ears and then drop your hands to your feet or your legs or the floor, whatever is comfortable. Move those sitting bones a little further back. Round your body, bring your forehead down toward your leg. So the whole spine is going into a little bit of a forward bend as you're giving yourself a good stretch. If your hands reach your toes, you can pull the toes back toward you and get a little bit more pivot to your body, or you can be holding your ankles and do that, or you can just do it as much as it feels right for you. Take a moment, exhaling, just relaxing in that rounded forward bend. And then bring your arms by your ears again. Straighten your spine. Exhale, pivot a little deeper. See if that chest will come a little further toward your thighs. And reach your fingertips toward your toes. And then with the arms still by your ears and the spine still straight, come on back all the way up, palms out and down to your sides. Take a moment feeling your spine a little bit more activated. And we're going to do the same thing, but with the legs separated a little bit more. So again, press out through the heels with the toes pulling back. Feel the backs of your legs getting a good stretch along the floor. Sitting bones are behind you, core active and stretching up through the crown, hands at your sides. Shoulders are relaxed. Bring your arms out to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Exhale, bring your hands down to your shoulders. Sink into your sitting bones. Inhale, stretch it up. And again, exhale, sink it down. Inhale and stretch. And once more, exhale down. Really get a good stretch this time as you inhale, arms by your ears. We're pivoting again at the hips coming forward and stretching it out. So just go as deeply into that as your body likes. And then bring your hands to the floor or your feet. And round your chin just slightly, bringing your forehead a little further toward the floor. So if you're really flexible, you may make it to the floor, but you probably won't. Don't worry about it. Exhale, just relax. Let those thighs get a good stretch as much as they like. Exhaling any tension. Just tucking in the chin, forehead just gently. Not forcing, just allowing it to go with gravity toward the floor. And then straighten your spine, bring your arms back along your ears, arms straight, stretching out, pivot, and again, bring your chest further down toward the floor as you reach those hands forward. Stretch it out, just deepening with gravity, relaxing. And then leading with your fingertips, inhaling, coming up. Check your shoulders, see if they're hunched up by your ears. Pull them back down if they are. Separate your hands out to the sides, palms toward the floor, and back to the sides. Take a moment, feel your spine a little more activated. Feel your legs a little bit more worked. And we're going to do a variation. So hands at your sides, again, palms down at shoulder level, stretching out. Palms again, hands toward the ceiling above your shoulders. Exhale and sink. Inhale and stretch. Exhale and sink and turn toward one foot. Again, inhale and stretch. Exhale and sink. Give yourself a good stretch. 
And then as you exhale, reach for that foot. So keep the other sitting bones slightly up if you need to. And just give yourself that pivoting forward position. So you're pivoting again, still at the hips. You're reaching toward your foot. You can hold your foot or the leg or put your hands on the floor for a moment. Tuck your chin, bring your forehead down toward your knee. Take a moment in that position. Exhaling, just letting it release. And then bring your arms back by your ears and straighten your spine, crown reaching toward your hands. Stretch it out, pivot, exhaling deeper. And then bring your elbow of that arm inside your knee and bring the other arm out behind you, facing your body toward the opposite foot. We're going to get into that stretch, bring the arm up and over next to your ear and reach for your foot with your whole body facing away from that leg that you're leaning toward. Take a moment in that side stretch, feel the ribs open along the side of your body. Exhale any tension. Rotating into that twist just a little more if you love it. Exhaling any tension. And then bring the arm in the air up. Lead with it. Pulling your body up. Turning back to the center. Arms out. Shoulders down. And hands to the floor. Take a moment feeling the difference on the sides of your body. Because we're going to have to go the opposite way. So again... Pushing out through your heels, up through the toes, and up through the crown. Hands at your sides, arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Exhale, hands to your shoulders, sink into your sitting bones. Inhale and stretch it up. Exhale, coming down. Inhale and stretch. And this time as you exhale, turn to the opposite leg. Inhale and stretch. Exhale and sink. One more good stretch. And as you exhale, reach for that foot. Chin toward your knee, toward your leg, and head toward your toes. Just allow your body to, again, round forward, tuck your chin, and bring your forehead a little further toward your knee. Don't forget, keep the kneecap pulling toward your thigh so that the thigh can tighten and let the back of your leg relax a little more along the floor. Take a moment and breathe, stretch it out. And then bring your arms back by your ears and straighten your spine, stretch it out. And then exhaling, bring the elbow inside. As you stretch, bring the other arm out to the opposite side. Bring it up and over, palm toward the floor as you bring your arm along your ear and reach toward your toe. The elbow is on the inside of your knee on that leg you're turning toward or tipping toward. And your body is turned to the front, so you're again in a little bit of a twist. So keep stretching the spine apart so it can twist as you're in that position. Head going toward your toes. Stretching it in. Bring your arm up, leading your body back into that open position. Palms toward the floor and down to your sides. Bend your knees, bring the legs in, and extend into staff position. Take a moment, feeling your body a little bit more stretched open, and exhale any tension. Bring your feet to the end of the mat, sitting bones behind you. Grounded ceiling, core activated, and slowly from your lower back to the floor, your ribs to the floor, your shoulder blades to the floor, and your shoulders down. Take a moment as you get all the way reclined onto the floor, just feeling your body, let everything release and relax. Getting ready for our final twist. Bring your hands to T position, palms up, sitting bones toward your heels, just gently bending your knees. And either bend your right leg and bring it up to the ceiling or keep it straight and extend it as straight up as you can. 
Press the heel toward the ceiling and the toes toward your head. We're rolling all the way to the, what is that, left side. Bringing the foot to the floor and the hands together. Keep your head on the mat. Remember, don't overwork your neck. Take your left hand, hold your foot if that works for you, otherwise the leg, and bring your right hand up toward the ceiling. Keep the palm open toward the ceiling as you lower that hand behind you. And again, the more you hold your foot, the more your lower back stays in the twist. And the more that hand goes toward the floor, the more your middle back gets in the twist. Let gravity do the work. It may not make it to the floor. That's okay. Just go as deeply as your body is willing to go. If your neck can take a twist, turn your head toward that arm behind you and allow that to happen. But if you're having issues with your neck, remember, just keep looking upright. Exhale any tension. Breathe deep. Let your body sink into its twist as much as it wants. And then releasing your hand from your leg or your foot. Roll the body onto your back and extend that leg up toward the ceiling, flexing the foot, leading with the heel, using core for support as you lower that leg back next to the other one. As you get back into your T position on the floor, just feel the circulation in your body. Exhale any tension and, of course, get ready to twist the other way. Hands, palms up. Right at shoulder level, sitting bones toward the heels, and the right, no, the left leg comes up. So you can either bend it or keep it straight as you extend that leg with the heel up and the toes toward you. Rolling with your head on the floor so you don't overwork your neck to the right side. Hold your foot if that works, or the leg, and bring the left hand to the ceiling. Right above your shoulder, keep it at shoulder level as you lower that back of the hand toward the floor behind you. So it doesn't go up toward your head or down toward your foot, but straight back, keeping that chest nice and open in your twist through the middle back. The more you hold your foot, the more that lower back is twisting. So do that if that's right for your body. And of course, the neck area, only turn your head if that's working for your neck today. Take a breath. Just exhale, let everything go. Allow your twist, don't force it. If the hand stays in the air, that's okay. Gravity will work with you when your body's ready. Just keep breathing, exhaling tension, completely relaxing. And of course, hold the twist longer on your own. But for now, go ahead and let go of your foot and roll onto your back. Flex the heel, keep the leg as straight as you can, and the core working for you as you slowly bring that foot once again to the floor. And as you get back onto your back on the mat, bring your hands near your hips, palms up, shoulders down, chest nice and open. Exhale and just let your body grow heavy and sink, deepening into that corpse position for our final relaxation. Breathe deep and let your body go. No need to hold any tightness anywhere in your body. And through your torso, lots of work there in your midsection today. Let it soften and sink heavy, deepening into that earth support. And just allow your body to release any tightness anywhere you notice. Move your head side to side, just gently. Allow everything to release tightness completely on. As your body sinks deep into that support of the earth, just let your body go. Breathing more deeply, sinking more fully. And allow any thoughts of your body to release from your awareness. And as you release those thoughts, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. So let those thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. 
floating away with bad attention. And I need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts drift and your body sink and your awareness turn inward, deepening into that peace within. Fill your body with peace and your mind with peace. And take the next few moments just being peace. And if you have time to keep relaxing today, keep trying, releasing and relaxing into that piece. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the one, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. Breathing and stretching more completely as you are ready. And when you're ready for your yoga, hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, draw your heels toward your hips, and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release that, bring your head and feet to the floor, and rolling to the side, sitting back up getting ready for whatever's ahead in your world today. Thanks for joining me.